Just sitting on my tailgate, watching the Nebraska game. Man, we probably should get to work. Let's get to it. Uh, looks like my uh, wife wants to take off there. I'm pretty sure she's going to take off. It's too bad. I was hoping to drive her uh, vehicle around, but... Uh... Oh, there she finally goes. She and really loves that old uh, Ford Bronco. It's got a Cobra on it, in it. it. just sounds so good. But uh, basically, yeah, we need to get to farm it. I don't have hardly anything for equipment. I mean, really, I just have a box blade. Slow down there, baby. Don't go too quick. But uh, she's going around. She's basically looking for a uh, part-time job. So she's uh, put, putting out flyers, uh, putting out feelers, getting some resumes out there. Wow. Just enjoy the peacefulness of this place. Man, what a beautiful place. But I got some inside intel. So I heard that one of the farmers is basically selling one of his tractors and planters. And I need to make sure I get to that before the John Deere dealership. Because the John Deere dealership, they're trying to uh, stock their new dealer. And I know if it's a good price, they'll go and uh, buy it underneath. So then I would have to pay a higher fee because it's on the lot. So we're going to get in this truck here, basically. Uh, going to go around our place a little bit. So I don't know if you've really seen it. So I think I'm going to use this for my bale storage. There's a few old uh, stock bales out there already. But uh, I'm going to use this area over here for my bale storage or that barn at least. My silage just love this farmyard maybe I'm just a little uh, you know I beans I basically uh, just changed it slightly but it was already a nice farmyard just love how the buildings are positioned and everything just really enjoying that farm right there or uh, that garage I should say so let's stop uh, snooping around here on our farmyard and uh, get to this guy's place. So I I have been on the lookout beans I have a dealership so close to my house there been uh, watching out and they don't really have any uh, good planter tractors or uh, planing rigs. So the plan is for this farmyard I want to do a dairy or something like it. Maybe I'll have some uh, grain farms on the way, but it's going to be kind of a small dairy. Uh, then I'll raise uh, corn to chop or uh, harvest one of the two. This is that new dealership coming in. Looks like uh, they got a little bit more stock in. It's that tractor like uh, Jim was testing over there in Oregon. A saucy, uh, the saucy, the uh, saucy tracks on it. Uh oh, somebody hit the stop sign there. What uh oh? So we've got this farmer, and he's a pretty wealthy farmer. I'm thinking he wants to upgrade. What a beautiful driveway, by the way. Pretty sure he just wants to upgrade this his uh, planting rig. Look at that nice bin setup he has. Pretty. Nice long driveway here. What a beautiful area. You guys see that? Man. That is one heck of a semi there. Didn't know we had a semi. Ooh, that might be the rig right there. find somewhere to park here so we did tell them that we're gonna come and show up here man 
see the he must be in strip tilling looks like uh yeah this is a strip tillage bar looks that way basically uh it uh shanks the ground and then uh basically chops it up and then firms it up so you don't disturb your whole field but you disturb strips of your field and that way uh you know worms and all that good stuff that stays in the ground you don't disturb the whole ground but you still get a uh, nice uh seabed man does he have a big cat on this a mt 845 I think it's giant cab just looks small on this such of this big tracked tractor there huge tracks on there I think there's 36 inches maybe I don't know where he is at I'm gonna have to figure out where he's at I guess man you guys hear whistling somewhere yeah it sounds like loud whistle sound what that is oh it looks like oh that must be his truck looks like he's coming down here wow that's a big truck Ooh. Oh, 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 oh man man you hear that whistling diesel there Ooh. Man, oh man, that's a big truck there. All right, so this is indeed the planner he and tractor he wants to sell, and 8330. Hmm. I just love the tinted windows on this thing. Man, this thing, this is one of my favorite looking tractors. I don't know why. Uh oh, looks like we might have to uh, have some problems with that. Uh, front wheel uh, linkage there that might be an issue so this is a harvest international so what is this one two three four five six oh so this is a 16 row hmm man this is a I've never heard of this before it's got center fill uh, boxes on it. It's all uh, it's air driven, so it's a PTO mounted planner. Looks like we have a uh, wheel uh, assist there. Uh, wow! So it does look like the down pressure is from airbags right there. You can see them right there. So it's basically almost completely air driven. So which isn't bad because I don't think we can really afford, you know, a uh, hydraulic downforce on a planter. It's probably out of our budget range. Man, I, I like the planter, I like the tractor, but man, this is, this is, this is big for us. It's going to be a huge purchase. Man, is that... I don't know. I think it. I just think it's might be too big for us, but man, I just want it so bad. Looks like it has row cleaners and it has a uh, cutting wheel in front of the planter, so it makes sure that row cleaners don't get clogged up. Oh man. I mean, a 16, I mean, this is a big jump. I, I mean, we did have a 12 row planter in Oregon, but we had nothing like this uh, 8330. I mean, we basically only had our best tractor probably was a 7140. 8330 is quite a bit newer. So he wants 100 and 
fifty thousand for the tractor. It has uh, it has thirty six hundred hours on the the engine, which isn't really that bad for you know a good hard, especially a uh, farming tractor around this giant farm here. And he wants so the planner is he only wants sixty thousand for it so he will take basically together i guess it is isn't a discount but he'll take two hundred and ten thousand for the rig man is that a huge investment for us i mean i still gotta buy cattle i gotta do a lot of things seed Whew. This is going to be hard. Let me ask if I could try it out. All right, so he says he can, so I got the keys for it. Just basically going to drive it around a little bit just to uh, make sure there's nothing uh, sounding, no loud sounds or anything. So, yep. We got a GPS monitor. Looks like we have an old style Green Star monitor in here. Starts up. Got an aftermarket uh, sound system. This is nice on them long days planting. All right, now we got it raised up. I want to make sure we can turn still good on it. That's a lot of weight on the back of this. That's why you have to. Uh, Pull it with this big frame tractor. Oh, what a beautiful area he has around here. Nice laid out farmyard this is. Yeah, too bad this farm wasn't for sale. I'm gonna go in his field a little bit here. unfold this I guess so make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary man that is a nice planter I mean, maybe if we get this planter maybe we could do some custom planting work around here you know I mean farmers they just want their corn in sooner sooner quicker and quicker every year. I just think maybe this is a good idea. Man, I really wasn't looking to spend this much. This is going to basically hurt the, my budget plan, so I'm going to have to spend a little bit less on maybe a tillage tractor. Get by maybe with a 4440. I don't know. I mean... What do I care? I'm the one running it. Be going to be in the planner, so I mean, at least I'll be nice and comfortable in my nice cab. Somebody else will be hoping that they at least get AC in their cab. And this thing is a nice planter. Whew, I really like this planter. Raises up, and that's a lot of weight on the back of that tractor there. Whew. Yep. That's a heavy boy there. Get that tractor sink in in the back. I mean, even though it sinks in so much, I can still steer. You're just going to have a little bit of bounce going a lot of the time. Oh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to pull the trigger. But you know what, before I uh, say I'm going to purchase this planner, there's something that caught my eye when I was... Shut this off before I get them too excited. So Jeffrey is the farm owner here, and you can tell he's, he's wealthy. He's, he's in the money thinking because he's so wealthy maybe he'll get old rid of this old Mac not for sure what year this is yeah this I just love the cabs even though the cabs are kind of small on these things whoo 
I just love how they the way they look. So this is a super liner Mack truck. Tires looks good. It's got a straight pipe stacks on it. Oh man, you could roll the coal in this thing. And it has a little grain trailer or uh, I guess dirt dump box on the back here. Three axle. Not a bad looking trailer either. It's got a tarp on it, so it looks like we could use this for grain. And possibly uh, even like rocks and everything. Climb up here. Wow, it's must have repainted this recently because it's all not even wore down. You got a copper shift lever and everything? Whew! Man, I think it's nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That sounds good. Man, looks like somebody upgraded the front headlights too to LEDs. Look at that grill. Bulldog on the front there. You know, I didn't ask him, so he might be a little annoyed, but I'm gonna drive this, just test drive it. I know, I know, it's it's kind of it's kind of rude on my part to not just ask to tr test drive something, but I got in it and I got too excited and now I wanna drive it. But man, you can really feel the power on this thing. I don't know, something about this really small cab, I mean, two uh, fat guys in this cab aren't going to be very comfortable, but uh, I just kind of like this cab, even though it's kind of a little small. We better not drive too far or we'll get the police called on us. Back up here. Can't hear the whistling diesel on this thing. Man. I don't know if... My guess is that it's a backup camera or a GPS, one of the two. But it doesn't appear like it's working right now. Really get at it. I'm trying to go slow and I'm just freaking flying down the road. Of course, you know, the trailer's empty, so that might be a big reason. And does he ever have a nice bin set up here? Hopefully that doesn't uh, hurt our uh, deal that we're getting here. Means I kind of took that. Man, I don't know. What should I offer for this thing to throw him in as a package? I just love that thing, man. Hood. You know, because this thing looks like it's recently fixed up and everything, it doesn't have too high a mileage. It only has... 200,000 so basically it was retired early from uh, probably driving across roads and all that but that's old roads and our interstates and everything don't really wear these trucks down being on the farmyard for long periods of time really wears it down with these bumpy country roads and all the potholes and everything they hit but it's like it's uh, been uh, overhauled or uh, refurbed or rebuilt something can't look this nice staying around the farmyard trailer looks fairly new you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna say 260 260 K for the whole package Jeffrey Jeffrey Alright, we are now, uh, got a little bit more equipment, so uh, he countered with uh, 265, couldn't, uh, that wasn't too far off of our uh, estimate, gonna take her, going to take her, so now, which, which piece of equipment should we take back to our farm first, hmm, Really want to take this uh, tractor and uh, planter. Man. He said he would uh, 
come get us beans our wife isn't around our house so uh, he'll come get us so we can haul both of these and uh, also get our uh, beautiful uh, Denali so we'll get to ride in his uh, beefed up Denali HD I mean, look at them tires who this guy you know what they say about a guy with a big truck objects seem bigger than what they really are just saying all right so let's get this uh tractor going here and then uh we'll call uh jeff Rio back over and come pick us up get all these hauled back so we are a few miles away from our house but not terribly far so i don't think i'm gonna trailer it all right i'll be back for you gmc and you mac you're mine now mackie yeah this thing has a little bit of torque to it it really goes might want to go a little bit slower with might get the little bounce especially when you have a heavy uh object on your three point start getting a bounce like we are now I can't get over how beautiful this area is here. It's a good thing when you have uh, tinted windows like this. It really helps you. Especially, you ever uh, tried planting or uh, basically without GPS? Trying to follow that uh, planting mark line and everything when you're uh, planting into the sun. Man. Talk about a lot of squinting going on. They don't have no tillage equipment. They need to get in our fields. So I, I do plan on planting some corn, some alfalfa, so we can uh, basically get the cattle. Would like getting done with uh, basically planting or uh, get our crops in before we start uh, getting our cattle in, just so we have uh, we don't have everything going at once. So I guess you guys might be wondering about Jim. So I talked to Jim the other day. Basically, he's waiting for uh, his bid to be approved. So he did put in a bid to buy a farmyard around here. So uh, basically a farm. It is nice. So I went up there and kind of looked around the other day. And man, is it nice. So I don't know, we might have to use this 4440 as a tillage tractor. It's not going to be end of the world, because other than, you know, you're going to have to be out in the elements, but uh can't be that bad. I mean, it's a beautiful tractor. I'm thinking, I'm, to be honest, I'm getting a lot of green around this old place. I'm going to have to think about uh, getting a... Uh, you know, it's a case. I, I like, I'm more of a what is the cheapest, what's the best deal type of person, you know. But I like John Deere, I like Case, I like Challenger, I like them all. Here comes Jeffrey finally. About time, Jeffrey. I'm surprised I didn't hear his uh, whistling diesel a long ways away. So, uh, Jeffrey, how long do you live here? Wow, you've been here for, uh, your family's been here for two generations? That's impressive. So is your parents still around? Oh, sorry to hear that. It's a bad deal there. So, uh, Jeffrey, you know, I don't know if you're interested or not, but, uh, if you ever need some help around the farm, you know, I'm a highly qualified farm hand, so I can help you out if you need it. So just letting you know, just putting the putting the feeler out there, so you could have just dropped me off by the Mac. Okay. Guess we're not dropping off by the Mac. Jeffrey, shirt. Sure got close to the truck I mean I know you want to punk my uh, little truck but you don't have to bully it around yeah I just love that shifter 
such a tight calf here, you know, you're got the long elbows out, you know, you could probably, you know, annoy your passenger over here, but that thing go. Whew. Yep. This might be my new favorite truck. I had a lot of nice semis. Man, this thing. This thing's beautiful. Just can't get over how these rolling hills, man. My buddies, he, he lives in Nebraska, man. He got he just wants the rolling hills. He doesn't like that flat land. Reminds me, I'm gonna have to go try out my uh, fishing ponds down there. See if there's any uh, bass in them. Ooh man. Just love that front grill. Man, I'm just so nervous because I spent way too much money. I still got to get some tillage equipment. I mean, I guess still got to get a sprayer, maybe, if, unless we uh, hire the local co-op to do all the spraying. I am super nervous. I need to figure out what I'm going to do because, uh, man, I got so much to do. And I, I just, I'm itching to get in the field got that uh you know that itch it's been so long since i've been in the tractor enjoying the beautiful mornings while i'm you know disking or uh, planting in the field but uh thank y'all for watching and i will see you later here in missouri thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe